What's up guys? Juggalo23451. A lot of people from Overclock.net have been asking me about how to water cool and install everything in your computer. Like they want to see me actually set it up and install everything. So before we get to that, we're going to start what I do personally uh, before I even water cool. What I like to do is research on what parts you want. You want the right fans the right radiator, the right CPU block, the right pump, and so on and so forth. Everything goes together. If you don't get something right for one thing, the next thing, it's like a domino, it won't work out well. Okay, uh, once you've got all your parts, figure it out and have them on your way. And now what you're going to do is, I personally do, is um, move some stuff here. Bust out. Good old fashioned white piece of paper and pen. And what you want to do is draw yourself a rectangle. It may sound stupid, but trust me, it will help you out in the future. Alright, say this rectangle is the case. Alright, so basically I have an idea what I want to do. I want to mount the radiator on top of the case. So I'm going to draw a little line here, put rad. Then I am going to draw a mini rectangle representing the motherboard, okay? Then I'll put the CPU roughly around here, give or take. And then I'll have the GPU. All right. And the reason why I put GPU right here in the CPU is because I'm water cooling both of them. So I'm basically putting areas on the motherboard that I'll be water cooling. All right. Next, I'll be putting the um, reservoir slash pump, and I got the uh, MCP three five five pump with the XSPC dual bay reservoir for the MCP three five five pump. So, I'm going to put pump slash res, okay? And this is what it looks like. Doesn't have to be pretty, you know, it's just a rough sketch. Okay, and then I'm going to say, well, how do I want my loop to go? Well, for me, I always want to get the best temps possible. So, I'm going to do res, rad, pump, or excuse me, It'd be uh, depending on how you have your res or your pump or whatever, be res, pump, rad, CPU, GPU, back to res. All right. And I'm going to have my res slash pump out combo for my uh, instance. I'm going to have it coming over here. All right. To your rad end. Now for your radiator, it doesn't matter. Um, which barb you go in for your rad, it doesn't matter at all. Alright, so I have my res slash pump out going to my radiator, okay? I'm going to have my radiator out going to my CPU in, alright? So rad to CPU in, okay? And then from there, I'm going to have my CPU out to GPU in roughly somewhere around there okay then I'm gonna have my GPU out to my res in and draw a line like so okay and this is like a rough drawing of what the uh, setup's going to look like now for instance if you have the um, Swift Tech Micro Revision 2 uh, reservoir. What I would do is probably have the reservoir actually mounted onto the outside of the uh, drive bays, and I'll show you what I mean on my case. So, what I would do, of course, have the rat up top, and your Reservoir somewhere along here always have to be your res always has to be higher than the pump 
All right, so here's your res. And then I would actually have the pump mounted inside the drive bay somehow to make it look clean. So you have your res on the line where the five and a quarter uh, inch bay drives are, and then you have your pump. Then we'll do a little quick drawing here. All right. So I would go from res and then pump and then have the barbs on the inside of the drive bay. So I would have the res go into the pump. Okay. Res to pump in. Then pump out to rad in. Rad out to CPU in. CPU out to GPU in. GPU out back to res. And that's what that would look like. That's just like an idea. You know, always experiment, draw a couple different formats of how you want your loop to go. That's what I would do personally, okay? So let's get started and uh, look at my case, and I'll show you what I was talking about uh, the macro revision. All right, as you can tell, I already mounted the radiator at the top, like so. Let me uh, actually get it so you can see it right there. Screw here, screw here, and screw here. All right, I have the um, the CPU block temporary in place. It's not screwed on or anything. At the C, uh, not the CPU, but the GPU block temporary in place. All right, and then for the CPU, or not for the CPU, but but for the pump, I have it mounted right here, and here are the wires over here for the pump. All right, so I just, you saw how my picture was right here. Okay. So that's how I'm going to have it. I'm going to have res coming up to here, to this uh, barb right here, and then this barb going into the center. The center is always the inlet for a CPU block, okay? Always. Now I'm going to have my CPU outlet going into my GPU inlet, and then my GPU outlet going back to res in. Now, this is like the tricky part, all right? This that normally didn't have this fitting right here. You have to buy these fittings right here. Uh, they're 45 degree angle fittings, and uh, I consider it pretty cheap for a feeser. For four of them, they're 25 bucks. They're not cheap, but they're definitely worth it. And the reason why I bought this is just in case I didn't like uh, how my tubing is going to go or like for instance, I have a straight barb right here, and it's going to curve up. I'm going to have, I'd rather have this installed. So I'm, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to install this guy. And what this guy is, it's awesome. It's a swivel. You can move this back and forth, which is great. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this little guy and I'm going to install it right in here. It's a little harder to do it with not the with the case not being down. So hopefully I can get it. There we go. Okay. I have it mounted like so. And then I'm going to take the swivel part and I'm just going to move that because the 45 degree angle part of this is actually movable. All right. And I'm going to see if it'll look all right when I do my loop. So I'm going to take my barb right here and I'm going to install it like so. 
and see if it looks all right or not. All right, so here we got it. It's installed and everything, but looking at it, really doesn't look right. I don't like it how it, the basically the tubing is going to be real tight right here when I have to do that. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to take this 45 degree angle, uninstall it, and just use a standard straight bar for that. All right. So put back bar. And screw it back. All right. Since that didn't work, I'm going to go down to my CPU, or from my CPU, to my GPU, alright? Now, I have everything mounted up, looks good, and uh, what I did for uh, the GPU out, going to the res in, I used a 45 degree angle. The reason why is because I don't want it to go straight up like that. So, I got the 45 degree angle. So it'll be a nice, smooth arch going to the res in, like so. And then it'll be, the whole process will repeat all over again. You have your pump out to your rat in, rat out to CPU in, CPU out to GPU in, GPU out to res in. And uh, I guess that's it. Comment, subscribe, rate this video. Should have another video coming up pretty shortly. Thank you. Have a great day.